Here's a 1965 tune for once in my life. Hey, that's cool. That was the year I was born. Oh, okay. maiden name was Peterson and 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 I'm very very much um, uh, Dutch I'm very Dutch okay so straddle your legs over that and lay my head down that way yeah and just lay down on it with with, with inverted it's pretty simple hang your hang your feet here put your feet over the top edge of that that's all right so now you, you're getting more blood to your brain and your body is relaxing because your muscles, the gravity isn't pulling down on you, it's going the opposite way now. And this is just a very slight, gentle inversion. Are you going to have this on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Okay, when can I see it? Oh, uh, in the next couple of days. So my youngins will have a feel. They are light. Now, isn't that relaxing? Yeah. You're getting more blood to your brain and that helps your brain to think better because you're getting more nutrients to it. Now, if you stretch your legs, try, try stretching your legs like this, Larry. Pull that knee up to your chest, just one. Just pull one up to your chest with your hand. Use your hands. There you go. Now pull that up a little bit more and get a good butt stretch. There you go. 
And now switch and do the other one. Good. Now turn it over a little bit like this way. With just a little stretch. But lean lean that arm out that way. Put throw that arm out clear to the to the left to keep your balance. There you go. Okay. Now do the other one. There you go. See with a with an inversion board, you can do all kinds of leg stretches with an inversion table. You can't do it cuz your your ankles are hooked in. And all you got to do is make yourself a seven foot long by two foot wide board with bracing on the back of it. You could probably do that. You look handy. And then you just put it on the end of a, a chair. How was that done? You want to help? You want to help out? <laughs> all right. So what do you think? It does say we did it. Yeah. I didn't get dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> it's very... You're a Peterson and I'm Peterson. What is it? I said you're a Peterson and I'm a Peterson, so you know what we do. What's that? Go to work. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I'm doing, man. <laughs> Running down the road trying to loosen my load Got a world of trouble on my mind Looking for a lover who won't blow my cover It's so hard to find Take it easy I'm very tight. I hope they don't fall off. Come on, baby. It is cold. <laughs> For the middle of summer or end of summer, you think it'd be warm or not? Okay, you can turn it off. Easy. Oh, baby, take it easy. Hey, everybody, it's Brett. And I'm down at the Tow River, and this is a really beautiful place, as you can see. And I'm going to do some inversion on the board over here on these rocks. Now, I've never set it up like this, and it's kind of teetery, so check it out. I'm facing the wrong way. So I've got a helper filming me. What's your name? Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Come closer. Be careful. Uh, oh, man. Nothing like inversion next to the river, huh? So what do you do, Jessica? I work for a company that gives or sells equipment to the fire and police industries. Okay. Hopefully I don't get injured while I'm doing this. <laughs> but if I do, you'll have the equipment we need to save me. I have a first aid kit. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right. Let's check it out. You're all pan now. So I'm good? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So, doesn't that look good, yeah? All you need is one of these seven foot boards in your car all the time. And then you can enjoy this inversion anywhere you want to. You've got to have a really long car to be able to invert, to take this board with you everywhere. But man, you can't beat that, huh? Ah. Now look at that view. That's a pretty nice view, huh?
Okay, now it's been a couple of years since I've been back to this property. But this is Blair. <laughs> Blair and, and Sharon. And Sharon wants to invert because Sharon's had back troubles, right? Tell us about your back troubles. Oh, it's been since I was 15 year old. I got a bad wreck and I have fibromyalgia and it's a pinched the uh, nerve and yeah, it, it, it hurts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, Blair, you remember that roll? What looks like bulge and disc sticks way out on her back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah, I you remember the, the video we did. You uh, remember the rolling on the the oh, log? Yeah. Yeah. So if you can find yourself a nice log and show her how to roll on her legs on oh, that yeah. log, that will really help with low back pain because all of these muscles in your legs, that's all going wrapping around and it's connecting to your low back muscles and your butt muscles. Yeah. And it's really and good to, to, to release your butt muscles too because when oh. those get really tight, then that's affecting your low back and causing pain and trouble. So, okay, so straddle, straddle the board on the, with your legs. Nope, the other way, other way. Because your head's going to be down. Yep. And then just lay on the board and lay back there. Yeah. So, initially, you just want to do some relaxing of your body. Relaxing, you can put your arms over your head and relax that. And so when you're inverted like this, the weight of your body is, is pulling you the other way. Because when you're upright all the time, then the weight of your body, your muscles and all of that is dragging down on your spine. When you're inverted, it's so relaxing because it's releasing all of the muscles the other way. And say the weight of your arms, the weight of your arms isn't dragging down on your shoulders uh -huh. now. No. It's 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 releasing the weight of your shoulders. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. it so so now, better. yeah, now I'll show you how to do it without even having to have a board at all. It's too easy. Lay down a hill. Yeah, lay down a hill. You can pick any steepness of hill that you want. You don't even need a board. Mm. And then you got this, you still got the, you can pick any place that you want to. You can pick under a tree, you can lay under a tree, you can lay in chicken crap. <laughs> you can lay right, you can lay right next to where the dog is and you, the dog will jump on you. We're blessed with everything. But wait a minute, Sh Sharon. Come over, yeah, I gotta, just gotta show you the stretches. Yeah. Okay, so you can go like this. Mm hmm. And this isn't really that steep of a Get hill. Get away from that bee's nest, Goober. Go on. You can stretch one leg up. Get away from there. Quick. One leg up. Good. You get up there away from that bee's nest. Mm hmm. Don't want to get next to that bee's nest. Mm -mm. Well, I didn't want him to stir them up on us. Oh, yeah, that'll be trouble for sure. Okay, and do the other one. Yeah. Looking good, baby. I'm videoing too. Yeah. <laughs> Stretch them, and then you, you can go like this. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then lay, lay this arm out, clear this way to keep your balance. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. The more time you spend stretching and self-massaging your body, the more relief you'll get for all the pain. Because when you when you don't do this, when you don't stretch and massage your body regularly, your muscles get shorter and tighter. Okay. They get short and tight, and then you start to get pain because the tendons get tension on them. That's called oh. tendonitis. Oh. And the tendonitis, it's very painful because, see, tendons don't like to be, they don't like strain. They don't like to have strain on them, and so that's why they get so sore. Okay, switch. Switch this one, yeah, like that. Uh-huh. And it's good to get sun on your body too, really important because you get vitamin D for your bones. You need vitamin D and a tan. 
to mm -hmm. get to get good to have good bone strength and for your teeth. Okay. Now we're going up to the Black Mountain Campground, and there's a really nice trail that I've been wanting to hike. And uh, even this little drive up to it is really nice. Yeah, now I'm inverting at the golf course. Isn't it peaceful? Someday they'll change these golf courses into something different. But for right now, that's what it is. It's a golf course. And I'm going to see if I can get these golfers to try inversion. Do you think they'll do it? Well, they didn't want to do it. But it is a nice place to do inversion, though. You know, this is probably exactly what I need to be able to travel. To stop and just do this for hours in between the traveling. <laughs> that would really cut the, cut the slack off of it, you know what I mean? It's been two years since I completely stopped eating mass-produced meat, specifically organic chicken. And if you've not seen the videos for that, basically in a nutshell, mass-produced chicken, even organic, is not healthy because it's this Cornish cross overly bred thing that has 20 times too much fat, it's got way too big of a breast, it's not a normal chicken, it's like a Frankenstein. So all the chicken at any health food store or regular grocery store, it's all Cornish Cross Frankenstein trash chicken. And since I stopped consuming that a couple of years ago, it's been kind of a wild ride. It's been a continual health cleansing thing. And it's not over with. It's going to take several more years, but I've gotten through a whole lot of it. And every time you change anything with your lifestyle or your diet, and you incorporate something really beneficial, whatever, it's going to be some time before you can really feel a uh, relief. But I think that going to places like this is going to come more easy for me now because see when you go to a place like this it's very healing nature is so healing and so i've not spent a lot of time doing this kind of stuff and i know you all want to see this me do this because you want to start doing it too a lot of you but um it takes energy and time to do it and um, so i'll do my best to help you out like, look at that nice little fall. Just look at how beautiful that is. Let's just listen for a minute. You can go for a dip right there. splits and goes over there too.
And it comes from over there too. Just imagine being able to go out and enjoy this time of the year and not have any feelings of like that you need to go back to work or you know you've got all these obligations and so you've got to go back and you have all these stresses in your mind about bills and things. Just imagine not having any of that. I know it's difficult for most people but really that's where we need to get to. We need to get to this place of where our minds are relaxed and it's so, the, so much the the opposite in our world today. Just look at stone, like look at the details of stones. It's just simple, yet so complex that humans can't really decipher where they came from, what they are. They can learn about the minerals and the stones and there are people that are stone experts out there. But everything in this world, we don't really know what it is when it comes down to it. And like the Course in Miracles thinks it's all an illusion. But people that love the earth, they tend to disagree. They don't think that, they think like, well, if it's an illusion, I sure love it because look how beautiful. It's like eye candy. It's amazing. And to think that, that we can make a vaccine, I just don't buy into it. I don't buy into any man-made meds at all. I just don't think that humanity, I think they're so egotistical and so greedy, and there's no way that I'll ever buy into it. Colors are so amazing. The colors of things. The sparkles and the details. Look at this one. Can you see the mica in this one shining? The shiny parts, that's mica, which is the name of the little town that's down by where I live, Micaville. I used to love hiking on big rocks when I lived out west like this. We would hike up huge mountains, much bigger than what they have out here. Want to check it out under the bridge? I know how I can show it to you. Let's just go for a little walk up this road. Walking on a dirt road is one of my favorite things ever. And it reminds me of walking with Grandpa in the hills above Pace in Utah. And uh, there's nobody out here other than just hikers and stuff, so I can leave the car with the windows open and all of that. But um, 
What's in the news right now, and I hate to take you off of this beautiful scenery, but it's important for us to prepare ourselves in our minds for what is to come. And I have a pretty good intuition. It's not difficult really for, for you to see if you've been paying attention, that if Biden implements his B vaccine, I'll just say it, requirements, <laughs> There's going to be a lot of backlash from a lot of federal employees, from a lot of nurses and doctors even. And, you know, there are people out there, nurses, that believe in natural health. I've talked to them over the years. There are people that are kind of in between. And they do their best to live in that environment, work in that environment. But at the same time, they try to live more naturally and use herbs and eat healthy foods. And those people are almost being forced to leave their jobs. In fact, if you're smart and you care about your body, you stay away from all of that kind of stuff, in my opinion. And bear in mind, Google, this is my opinion. I'm not in uh, recommending or uh, prescribing anything like doctors do. But there's going to be a lot of backlash. And when, what is going to happen, I think, is that people will just refuse. Even if he is able to implement these regulations, people will basically just refuse. Like, how can you tell, like, if a business has more than 100 employees, all of their employees have to get it. <laughs> but if you've only got 99, then you don't. Like, imagine being a business owner that has 120 employees or 1,000 employees, and you're not buying into it like me. And there are plenty of them out there. Are you going to tell your employees that they have to get it too? <laughs> They're not going to do it. I think that basically they will just refuse. People will just say, no, we're not going to do it. And if you think you can enforce these fines or whatever on us, then you can try, but it's not going to happen. That's what I think. So, anyways, look at those beautiful trees rising to the sky. That's truth. Nature and God, it's all truth. And if we had the laboratories, if we had them investing their time and efforts into learning about just natural health and herbs, then we wouldn't be in this situation. If people were taught, and I'll tell you a little story about going to the grocery store, if people were taught the truth about what God's medicine really is, then I'm telling you, they would have a different mindset. It would be completely different. And, and so that's what's happening though right now. People are starting to think like, well, what's the alternative? And the alternative is exercise and all the natural health things that people have been seeing here and there on the television for their whole lives but haven't actually gotten into, but now it's time. So I was in the grocery store the other day, and all of a sudden I hear the nutritionist talking about how people need to get out and exercise in the morning and something else. And I was like, you're kidding me. I couldn't, almost couldn't believe my ears. <laughs> They're actually going to start teaching. I never heard this before. Never heard anything like that before on the intercom at Ingalls. And I was like, I can't believe they're actually gonna start teaching people real things. Then a few minutes later, she starts talking about how there are alternate sugars besides white sugar. And then she starts reading a list of all these other different kinds of sugars. I was like, wow, really? <laughs> You're actually gonna teach them that? Things are coming around. Things are coming around. The truth has to, I've been telling you this forever, the truth has to rise to the surface. It can't hide forever. Like, it's weird. It seems like, to me, 
like for somebody that's been doing the truth for so long, it's just really weird for me. But then they started playing, thank God I'm a country boy. <laughs> and I've always been a big John Denver fan. Makes me well up a little bit to think about how, he, how his life ended. But in any case, I was so excited. I went up to the front and, you know, the people know me there and some are okay with me, but some are really like against me. I was trying to make a cross really against me. <laughs> and but I went up to this red-headed woman behind the customer service desk and I go, I can't believe it. <laughs> you guys are playing some really good stuff in regards to, you know, getting healthy on the intercom. And then I said, you should let me talk on that thing. <laughs> Fat chance, huh? <laughs> So the truth of the matter is that I am a homebody cancer person. And I have some different elements that lead me to be going out and traveling, but they're not predominant in my astrology chart, like my sun sign. Your main sign is your sun sign, where the sun was when you were born. And I was born on July the 3rd, and a cancer wants to stay home and take care of things at home, and they're a caregiver, and they take care of themselves, and they take care of other people, like a massage therapist, etc. But I'm out of my element when I'm traveling, and I don't want to be, and I want to get used to it. I want to become like a good traveler, even though I'm against burning fuel. It's a really difficult thing for me. It's been like that for a long, long time. It's a, a really a, a big clash in my mind. But I know that I have a lot of things to give, and I know that my videos get popular when I go out and do crazy cool things. And I have all this Leo for fun thing energy. Go on, you little poo. <laughs> I have all of this Leo the entertainer in the spotlight energy. <laughs> a bug keeps wanting to get on you. Look, he'll go back again. <laughs> so, it's really good for traveling and talking to people and showing them all the things that I teach you, but it's not easy for me to do this. <laughs> I have to admit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll bear with it. There it is, the car V. That special traveling mobile. Man, we are up there. So beautiful. So totally peaceful and quiet. Now this is a really nice place to invert. So let's just do some of that. Oh uh, yeah. I see where there was a bird's nest. So nice. There's no EMF, electromagnetic frequencies, none. There's no car noises, nothing, just wind in the trees. It's 
so nice. So a little while ago when I was at the golf course, I massaged my abdominal region and it was sore in there. And now, now it's not, not hardly. And that's because I did the work. And now just think about all of the billions of people out there that need to do that. And if they did do this, they would feel that it's really sore in there. But they don't. They just leave it and it's like a landmine causing some sort of a problem with their digestive system. Any soreness in your body is an indicator that you need to work on it. And if you don't do it, it's like a blockage. Okay? And acupuncture, acupressure, these are blockages in energy, fluids, t tension, etc. All of these kinds of tension and blockage problems are causing some kind of grief, whether it be strain in your brain, you know, stress, or physical pain and inflammation, um, inhibiting your body's processes, your natural body's processes of digestion, and who knows, blood flow, etc., etc. So you don't have to travel too far usually. You can just go out in your yard and get a lot of relief from the day's stresses, from the world's pain, etc. You can go out and find a little hill or you can just lay flat on the grass in your yard. I mean, it amazes me that people have all of this grass, acres and acres where I live, but they don't use it for anything other than mowing. They, they get their kicks or their, their fumes or they get their whatever from mowing it but they don't go barefoot walking in their grass. <laughs> they don't play any sports or fun games or anything. Occasionally, some, some people will play that bag game where they throw it in the, the cornhole. <laughs> but usually, I mean, I don't see people doing anything in their yards where I live. They're not very active and uh, I don't know. Got my shovel. Oh, I know where it's at. There's a special place for the toilet paper. I'm just gonna dig me a nice little hole here. Oh my God, I don't know if I can even dig a hole here. Yeah. I could at least dig some dirt up so I'm not leaving the poo right in the open for people. <laughs> it's good to be somewhat considerate even in the wild. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons I have this shovel. It's a good little shovel too. So what I need to do is make one of these slant boards that folds. Uh, the problem, the main problem is that it's just too long to travel with, you know, in your car. And I can do it. I can make one that will at least fold in half, preferably in quarters or thirds, but we'll see. We've come out into the light more and look how pretty it is.
that same road that Chakra and I have been on before. We walked down it a couple of times and um, yeah, I just saw a little field up there that, that we went to. Okay, and we're on the parkway now. So that was quite a trip yesterday and I hope that you guys enjoyed that video as much as I enjoyed doing it. And I definitely plan on doing a lot more of those uh, traveling kinds of videos. But um, if you like my videos, definitely subscribe, give me a thumbs up, go to my website and buy some of my awesome products and then use them every day or at least every week and benefit and take care of yourself and prepare yourself because we're probably in for some somewhat difficult times in the future but if you do the work and uh, yeah you'll be just fine thanks for joining me